What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out Vikings once again, Season 5, Episode 14. We are here once again with some more fa. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully this one is heat. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Vikings is taking a little bit of a down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, It is... It's still enjoying seeing the visuals. Some parts of the story is still very interesting. But I think the the long time that it will take to flesh out stories, um, it's not there anymore. Character development, it just kind of kind of throw it out the window or it feels like it's being rushed. So um, in that aspect, you know, I'm just watching to see where we're going to end up. You get what I'm saying? Watch, and then I will have my full critique after we catch up with everything, so on and so forth. Now, we're here once again to evaluate the man Ivar. <laughs> the man himself, King Ivar, has elevated himself to godhood, you know, and that's always dangerous in, in any what a deity that you believe in that's always dangerous to believe yourself on that level when you are not i mean come on not even zeus didn't even want hercules to have elevate himself to being a god when he was uh basically a demigod right so it is i'm just saying this is probably leading to his downfall or i don't know maybe they'll accept it maybe odin will be like oh well you know what I'm saying? I, they're all descendants of me, so why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who knows what's going to happen, but that's really interesting to me. Um, so we'll see what's going to take place next. Uh, yes, man. Um, King Alfred has really grown on me. I like how he carries himself, except for that one thing that he did in the episode that I didn't really understand why they let him just accept that just like that without asking any questions to you know bishop hegman so in any ways let's um the other thing that's going on with bjorn and um what's his name i can't remember his name is um ragnar's whatever is whether is his son or not you know what i'm saying if it's his son you know i just don't like how leading up to it how it went down you know what i'm saying magnus his his name right i just don't like how things just mesh together like that like they're trying to rush the narrative like ask some questions like you know why they chose to banish you after ragnar came that doesn't make sense why take care of you knowing that you are Ragnar. So even Bjorn should be asking these questions because he's like, you know, because um, Ube came back and told him, hey, man, they respected our dad a lot. King Egbert respected our dad a lot. That's why, you know what I'm saying? But let's jump into the episode and we'll come back for the review. So here goes episode 14. See you guys over there. All right, so here we are, season five, episode 14 of Vikings. Man, this was one of those episodes, man. Like I said the, the story is continuing. And we just got to follow it. I just don't like all these pop-up characters. <laughs> I just pop up just all of a sudden have too many lines. No introduction for them. I th this girl saw Vitzerg one time. Had like, she said like two sentences to him. And then next they were in bed and then they want to run away together. <laughs> it's like, what? wait a minute, bro. Slow down. Slow down, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, I like the development. The, um, the, um, what do you call it? The, what's happening in, in Wessex is way more interesting than what's going on at Kattegat, in my opinion. Um, uh, we already know, you know, Ivar is just being, 
he's crazy. He's just going nuts at this point. And him, we're going to see the repercussions of w how he's acting. Um, King Harold is any, heading to Wessex. I don't know how that how this battle is going to go because Bjorn is still falling for the bullshit with Magnus. And he is not impressive right now. It's like they're trying to make you hate Bjorn, you know what I'm saying, character, which, you know, at this point, Ube is acting smarter than him, which is weird to me. But, you know, I, I, I didn't even remember that Ragnar told Lagather. Did he? Did he tell her? I know, I, I think I remember him telling Aslog, but I don't remember if he told Lagatha that all he did was, all she did, well, Quinthred pissed on him. I don't remember. But all I know is Magnus is lying. We all saw the scene when when Ragnar told him, hey, all she did was piss on me. She lied to you, <laughs> you know. So we all know it wasn't no hugs and no kisses. I don't know. What are you talking about? But he definitely lying. So we all know he lying about that. So he's just trying to get back some sort of purpose. I get it, man, to get what he wants. You know, for all I know, he probably wants revenge on the sons. You know what I'm saying? And he's trying to play some sort of game or he wants to be a part of something, you know, um, greater than what it actually is, you know, I mean, if all your life somebody tells you that your father is this great man, and then that great man tell you, hey, man, I'm not your daddy, that could spiral you into a psychological mess, so I get it, you know what I'm saying, from his perspective, how he should feel, but at the same time, he's a bit pitiful, <laughs> let's be honest, um, Aetherred, didn't go i think it bothered him because um alfred kept saying um i love you you know what i'm saying i love you you know what i'm saying he, he is finding it hard because that's his brother you know what i'm saying like hook line and sinker that's his brother you know what i'm saying like it, it's not even like he can say that's not his brother that's his brother by blood that's his brother same mom's Two, two different dads, but same moms. You know what I'm saying? So that's his bro. For him to decide to do that, you wouldn't be any different than what's going on with the Ragnar son and stuff like that. So um, I think that's what really kind of held him from giving the signal to, you know, attack. But I think Lagatha and them was ready because I, I think they noticed that he was kind of frightened of something or he was worried about something and he saw them whispering in his ear and stuff like that. I think they were like, they were on edge because they saw how he was sweating, fiddling with his hands and stuff like that. Um, but he didn't give the signal. So we'll see what is going to be. I think they noticed, maybe they'll tell Alfred, Hey, are you sure that Aetherred is not planning? You know, he's not a part of this coup, this operation that's planning, plan to kill you. You know what I mean? So we'll see. We'll see how things go. But anyways, guys, that is as much as I have to say. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen next. If Rolo is going to come back in the picture at some point, I don't know. But I'm not really liking what they're doing with Bjorn's character because Bjorn's character is way smarter than this. It's just, it just is. Like, so for them to, like, dismiss all of that and just turn him into a bumbling idiot that's just like, oh, my God, I can understand why he's mad at Ube. That I'm not mad at him about. Like, I can understand why he's mad at Ube kind of reminds me of the same thing that happened you know between um Ragnar and Rolo and Rolo did it um not Ragnar and Rolo Floki when Floki was mad about it but he didn't know it was part of the plan you get what I'm saying so he was mad when Rolo did the same thing that Ube did you know but it seems like Ube is really kind of serious about you know what he's doing you know what I'm saying if it is to save them why not you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like they fight, they're going to be fighting against the enemy that they're not familiar with. This is a familiar enemy that wants to kill him. King Arrow wants to kill Lagatha. There's no going around that. You know what I'm saying? And they know this. So, for Bjorn to be acting as if he's not going to fight or they have no intention of giving him land, Alfred is not like 
what they're thinking. Magnus just has a, he's delusional. In any case, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I don't want to talk anymore. Um, love you guys, man, for showing, for continued showing support on these Viking videos. They're not the best in viewership, but you guys show up every time, and I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys check out the review. If you did, let me know in the comment section. Of course, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We are out here, man. Terabyte out. Peace.